So we got a broken paddle here. Went on a rafting trip. Uh, fortunately, had an extra paddle with us since this one didn't make it through the trip. Um, older paddle, cedar, covered in fiberglass. And uh, it's always good to have a paddle around, so I figured might as well just fix this one back up, make sure we got an extra paddle. Um, right now I'm just taking a razor blade knife and cleaning it up a little bit, getting the edges off so stuff lays fairly well. Not trying to do a super custom job here, just trying to make a paddle that works. So once you get it real rough stuff off of the blade, give it a little sand, rough everything up, get the shine off. If you've got fiberglass on there before and you've got a gel coat on there especially, you really need to knock the wax coating from the gel coat down. Uh, some acetone works well for helping to cut that, sandpaper cut through it. Got several different fiberglass kits there came off the shelf in the garage. I think I'm using a Bondo kit available at any hardware store or auto parts store probably. I throw a little glue on here, glue it up, let that set, make sure that I've got a little stiffness before I lay the fiberglass. The, uh, if you have something that's super flexible that uh, last kit I showed you there was a West Systems uh, G-Flex, which I had a lot of success with. I've got a snowboard, picture of a snowboard that had a double D lamb that we did for my son, and I believe he said he's got 100 days on it after we fixed it. Um, I've done plastic uh, radiators and different things that uh, tend, to, tend to have a lot more motion or heat cold flex that, that works real well for it. It is quite a bit more expensive and this paddle is going to be pretty stiff so there's not really any reason to for that G-Flex. Um, I just used a run-of-the-mill Fondo mix. A little tiny cup there. I think I put 11 or 12 drops of uh, the catalyst in there. Mix it real well. It's a hot day so definitely need to use a little bit more catalyst the colder, damper the weather. I'm gonna uh, I don't have any rollers or anything for really smoothing the bubbles the out, but for a small fix like this, well, it's uh, right now, but I will not looking it to be out. perfect. Just a regular little throwaway paintbrush works well. You can clean them with acetone, but yeah, generally after a one or Ooh, two stinks. usings, they're going to be a throwaway. So. Don't spend any money on brushes. The off? cheapest ones you can find are usually the best that for this. Lay down some really of your resin. Put your fiberglass yeah. on. Pictures of, um, put more resin on top until the fiberglass uh, looks translucent or transparent. Got a little extra resin in there while I'm doing this side, so I just kind of threw it on anywhere that needed it. It'll make a great protective coating. Flipped it over. Did the same thing on the other side, put a little on the handle since the finish was wearing off and I had a little extra and voila, one fixed paddle. There's a cracked rocket box for the top of our car that took a beating, went to the inside, laid some piece of glass on, there's that snowboard I was talking about. Quick fix.